Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Outuse. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Confluence. So it is going to be a tutorial for beginners. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you use Confluence here? Well, in this case, we first need to discuss what is Confluence. So the official website for Confluence is going to be atlassation.com slash software slash Confluence. Now, in this case, Confluence is a software, or in this case, a platform, which in this case, you could work with your teammates, teammates here and also share your knowledge regarding something. Like, for example, if you need to make a short tutorial or even a short documentation here just to share to your teammates, where in this case, Confluence can be uh, really handy for you. Now, in this case, uh, for us to get started, we again, we first need to go to their official website and we want to click on the get it free at the top right here. But if you already have your account, go ahead and lock in. But if we're bringing you here, you could go ahead and enter your work email here or continue with your Google account, Microsoft account, Apple account, or whatever account you want to use. Now, in this case, once you've chosen the correct account you want to use, it's, uh, you need to basically name your site. So in this case, I'm going to name this after myself. Let's go ahead and click on continue here. And from here, we just need to wait for the setup process to complete. So it's going to say creating your Confluence site. So let's go ahead and wait for it first. Now, once your account is created, it's going to say welcome to Confluence here. So in this case, you could go ahead and start selecting what you want to do. Like for example, maybe we want to create a uh, knowledge base here, or you could choose the collaborating across teams. But for now, let's go ahead and click on creating knowledge base here. Let's go ahead and click on next. And we now we now need to describe what uh, does the work what your team does. So in this case, maybe I'm into software development here. Click on next here, and then you could go ahead and start inviting your or team members which in this case you just need to enter their emails here or just send them the link to uh, basically invite them but in this case once you've actually invited them you should be able to start using or they should be able to access your page here now in this case uh, the first thing you see here is going to be the knowledge section which in this case you could go ahead and already create your own document here or your instructions if you want to so let's go and close the banner here now, in this case, there are going to be a lot of things that you should be seeing here. So we'll be dissecting them one by one. So first is going to be the Confluence at the top left here. So in this case, the default app is going to be Confluence. So that's what we signed up for. But you could switch up or switch to a different app that is uh, offered by the same company here. And basically switch to Jira Service Management, Jira Product Discovery, or even just Jira here or just uh, Slack. Which in this case, you won't need to create another account. You just need to access the apps that is related to, to this specific uh, company, which is Atlassian. Now, in this case, uh, what are the other things we can do here? We also have the company hub here, which in this case will actually contain uh, up-to-date information regarding the company that you just recently created. So in this case, you can name, the, name your hub here, whatever you want. So for now, I'm going to click on skip here. So in this case, uh, this section will contain different information regarding your company. You could go ahead and add like, announcements uh, and create a town hall next week or performance reviews are due. So if you want to announce something, this is where you'll be able to uh, add your uh, company hub. So if you want to edit it, just click on the edit at the top right here and just provide all the details that you want to do. So in this case, you could basically add text here, uh, edit your text, add images or whatever. So if you're familiar with Word, well, it actually works kind of similar here, but the controls is going to be at the very top here. You can even change the uh, type of text here. And yeah. So in this case, obviously there's going to be a lot here, but let's first discuss the other sections that we could visit. Now the homepage here would actually contain your homepage. So in this case, you could go ahead and get started with a 30 day free plan here if you want to. But yeah, so the homepage will contain more your uh, general or your homepage. Now in this case, will contain your overview, uh, the overview of your account here or your company. You have the recent or the uh, documents that you recently as, uh, visited. So just in case you've lost access or you've lost uh, the location, you, know, you don't know where to get it. Obviously, it's still going to be a lot of documents or uh, knowledge base in this section here. 
also have the favorite section drafts something that you haven't actually published yet and some tasks uh, that is assigned to you or your work that were created by you also have the mission control here which in this case uh, gives you an overview uh, the total spaces the total content you uh, created and confluence searches that you made so in this case, there are going to be uh, the acti there are going to be different information here, like the activities, the automations, and uh, what not. So uh, in this case, uh, we also have the recent here. So if you want to search for different knowledge bases here, so in this case, you could base use the search bar here. Uh, all the documents that you work on create that was created by you, uh, prefer it, and even drafts that you've created. Now, in this case, to organize your different um, uh, documents here, you can basically create spaces, which will contain uh, uh, spaces depending on what department. So this is just an example. So depending on how you want to organize your documents or your knowledge base here, you need to create your space. Like for example, you want to create a space solely for web development. Well, in this case, you go and click on create a space here. And basically enter or choose what type of space like for example if you want to create a knowledge base a team a project management or it so you could choose whatever what whatever you want so for example i'm going to create a knowledge base here click on next and i want to name this as sample sample knowledge base and let's go and click on create space here and that would actually give us or create us our sample knowledge base uh, 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 section here or space. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start adding whatever, like for example, uh, adding blogs in here, uh, content if you want to, as you can see, these are the content that is default in here. And we also have automations content manager here, which in this case allows you to uh, manage your content and a lot more. So in this case, automation allows you to basically uh, automate some of the processes that you have. Like for example, you want to send emails or a generated or add specific labels on certain pages if you want to. So this is a great way for you to start managing your uh, your documents or your uh, different information within your organization here. Now we also have the space settings here if you want to change the settings of your space. Also have teams here if you want to create your own team, depending on like for example, you have a team for software development only, or you have a support team, you could create yours so that you'll be able to organize them properly within the Confluence uh, website that you've created. Also have apps here, which includes automation, calendars, and analytics, which are great tools to expand whatever, uh, what you could do here on um, Confluence. Also have templates here if you want to create from something like for some sprint planning meeting, software architecture review, retrospective, and one on one meeting if you want to now in this case uh what are the other things that we could do here so i just opened up one of the following uh, pages here which is a knowledge base i have right now so in this case if you want to invite someone to edit this specific knowledge base you could go and click on the plus button here and just basically enter their team name or their name or your group here and just add the actual message here but if you want to share this to slack you can go and choose share in slack here as well now if you want to uh basically restrict the access for this one you can go and click on restrict even copy the link for this specific document here now, in this case, what are the basic controls here? So the basic controls here are pretty uh, standard. Like for example, if you want to highlight something, if you want to change the text color. So for example, I'm going to add a sample text here. Now in this case, I could highlight this and I can change the color itself. Like for example, I wanna make it blue, bold blue, as you can see right now. I can even add a highlight. So I'm going to add a gray on it and it now has a gray uh, section here. Now you could add a bullet list, even number lists, and even indent it if you want to. Add some action items if needed be. And in this case, you also have the images section, the mentions if you want to mention someone in your specific uh, uh, section here. So for example, I want to actually press an enter here and I want to mention somebody. So in this case, you just need to enter their name here or just click on add team to Confluence as well. Now also have the option to add layouts, even table sizes if you want to, and insert elements if you want to, like info panel, code snippet, quotes to make it or to make your confluence here a lot more interesting if you want. Now you also have the writing assistant here, which in this case allows you to use AI to improve your writing. So write with AI or select from below. 
So yeah, so in this case, for you to actually uh, publish this to your uh, company here, you just need to click on publish at the top right. And from here, we first add, need to add a title. So for example, I'm just going to say sample here, click on publish. And once your, uh, your page here is actually published, so for example, uh, we want to choose location here for it's going to be overview. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And uh, we from here, let's go ahead and choose our uh, knowledge base uh, space here. And we should be able to select the knowledge base space. And we could go ahead and click on continue. Now from here, the access, you can change the access. So anyone with the space can view and edit. If you want to restrict this to a specific, uh, only some can edit or only specific people can view or edit. So if you want to specify that. But for now, let's go and choose anyone in the space. Let's go and click publish. And this should now be published as you can see right and now. So yeah, so in this case, those are the basics on how to use Confluence here. And that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.